also, I just got my postcard from immigration that says that I can stay. But I don't know if it's gonna be for one year, five years, so we're gonna go there and check that out. But in the meantime, you wanna hear some bullshit? Cause I'm gonna tell you some bullshit. Ah, uh, fuck, I went the wrong way. I love being on a motorcycle cause I can do shit like this. Okay, so I had my accident, right? And I've been waiting to post, uh, I've been waiting to get my accident money from the insurance to pay me out for the motorcycle that the fuck bag wrecked. And he was an old guy, intersection like this, stop sign, Bam, he hit me. I didn't have a stop sign. After it was all, you know, he was walking around. You're gonna see in the video eventually when I'm allowed to post it. But he was walking around. He was being a dickhead. No signs of injury, nothing. Anyway, so we get a call from our insurance yesterday. And he says, the old man is still in the hospital uh, from the accident, which I, God, I have no idea how could he, he could even be injured from my bike hitting his bike or his car at like 25 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour maybe. His front clip, it's not like I crashed into his door and flew through his window. I hit his front clip, maybe, maybe jostled the car like this, maybe, I don't know. Not so bad though, right? Anyway, so the daughter, his daughter has been dealing with all of his uh, insurance stuff and even the daughter is sick of this asshole and she quit taking care of her dad. She's like, fuck you, I'm finished with you. So I don't know what that is, but the insurance company says that I probably won't be getting my insurance money this year. Um, which sucks because I've got, you remember Mr. California, he was in an accident, I said before, and there was a stubborn asshole man, an old ass dude, which, by the way, if you want to call somebody an old bastard in Japanese, Kuso GG. So, Kuso GG is what I'm gonna call this fuck face from now on. He didn't end up getting paid out for like two and a half years. The, th the icing on the cake is that this, uh, this fuck face, this Kuso GG, come on! The icing on the cake is that this Kuso GG is was complaining to the insurance company that we didn't come visit his old wrinkly ass in the hospital. So, God, I I knew from the beginning. People have been saying, "Oh, you're being too harsh on him. He's just an old guy." You know, this guy is a legit dickhead, and you know, I don't. This is gonna sound like a shitty thing. But if his, if his relationship with his daughter is ruined over this, fuck yeah. If, he, if he's actually injured in the hospital because he blew a stop sign, fuck yeah. Anything bad this guy's got coming to him, I'm fucking stoked about it. You know, and it would be a completely different thing. It would be a completely different thing if he had, you know, if he, okay, so you're gonna see in the video, he, completely blew the stop sign. I flew over like two lanes of traffic, landed directly on my shoulder. He, he didn't come check on me to see if I was okay. He didn't do a damn thing. You know, I said, call the police, call the police, call the ambulance. And he was, and instead of doing that, he was walking around looking at my motorcycle. Eventually a neighbor lady came out and I said, call the police. And she called the police. This Kuso GG, didn't do a damn thing. You know, if, if it had been more serious, I could have bled out on the street because of this fuck face. So anything, anything that, you know, so if he had apologized, if he said, oh man, I'm sorry, is there anything I can do? Call the police. You know, if, if he would have, if he would have been just a, a decent person about it, I wouldn't feel this way about him. But since he is a legit fuck face, fuck this guy. So uh, we'll talk about this later. Let's see how many years I get in Japan. Where are you from? Uh, Where are you from? Where are you Philippines. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Mm. You too. Bye-bye.
See you guys. Those guys were all fucking molesting me. You. I came out of immigration and they had their they had their sweaty palms all over my bike taking pictures. Kind of pisses me off, but they were nice guys, so I was like, okay, I'll take pictures with you, but fuck! Don't touch somebody's bike. Don't touch a stranger's bike. So, anyways, it's not a big deal, but have some respect. Okay, so I left my passport at home, so uh, I gotta go get my passport and go back to immigration. So, but this old this old guy is making things all serious, right? This old guy's fucking things up, so now my insurance company says I can hire a lawyer and they'll pay for it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do everything I can to fuck this guy. Cause he, here's what he did. He ruined my, he ruined my whole summer. You know, I, you know, I, I loved Japan. I had, I had a, I had a completely different attitude about Japan before and after the accident. So, you know, like quality of life, definitely way down after the accident because he's the whole thing pissed me off so much dealing with this asshole and then uh second one you know i had to have blood coming out of my dick for a month and a half you know because of this because of this guy you know pulling pulling gummy worm sized blood clots out of your dick hole you know is that traumatizing fuck yes it's traumatizing you know and then i didn't think uh you know after the accident for a long time I couldn't even get my dick up, you know, so I was worried that, you know, because my wife and I have been trying to have a baby, right? So all of this on top of, God, there's so many stoplights in this city. So <clears throat> yeah, my wife and I have been trying, trying to have a baby and then this happens and then I can't even use my dick, you know, and I don't even, and I, even now, I still don't know if I can use my dick, you know, I, I mean, I can use my dick sexually. I'm, I feel like, well, Physically, intercourse can happen now, but uh, you know, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I can have kids anymore. You know, I don't know if my uh, my balls even still work because after the accident, my my whole ball sack was black and blue. Um, and then I still have. I still cannot even. I can barely pee even even now. I can still barely uh, barely take a piss. So I mean. And that's and that, and I don't even know if that's gonna go away. So do I have? I don't. People don't really sue in Japan, but this guy is. You know, I was gonna let it go. I was gonna let it all go. When I, because the police after the accident, they told me, uh, you know, be more careful next time. But you're not really at fault here. So the police said there's gonna be no legal repercussions for this accident. So I was just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna get my money from Kuso GG. And now it's like, oh, you're gonna make it things difficult? Well, I'm gonna make things a lot more difficult for you. 